So you're thinking about making that move to Delaware, but you're wondering, what's the food scene like here? Well, Delaware may be small in size, but it's big in flavor. And in this video, I'm actually gonna go over some of my top 10 favorite restaurants here in Delaware. Now, all these restaurants are top tier, at least they are to me. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss any good ones. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Brandon Windham and I help people buy and sell homes here in Delaware. I've lived here my entire life and on this channel, I go over exactly what it's like here living in Delaware. And if you're thinking about potentially buying or selling here in Delaware, I'll leave my info on screen and again in the description. Feel free to reach out. I'd love to have a conversation to see if it made sense for us to potentially work together. But obviously, that's up to you. Now, since I'm I'm always on the go helping clients all throughout the state. I usually eat out a lot. And so a lot of clients will usually ask me like, hey Brandon, what's one of your favorite spots to eat? So this is a list that I made of my top 10 favorite restaurants to eat. So grab your forks and loosen those belts. Let's get right into it. Now, small disclaimer before we start, before you say, Brandon, hey, why did you pick that place? That place is horrible. This place is much better. Again, this is just my preference me. I know everybody has different taste buds and different things that they like. So if I miss one of your favorite spots, feel free to comment down below in the comments and tell me where it's at because I'd love to try it. Now, in no particular order, let's get started with number one and that's Akabachi's. Akabachi's is located in Dover and it's a halal restaurant. So there won't be no pork on your fork here. But the menu does offer almost every other type of protein, such as shrimp, salmon, beef, chicken, lamb, steak. And then you can have it served almost any other type of way you want. You can have it over rice, you can have it in a gyro, you can have it on top of fries, or my personal favorite, the cheese steak. And to top it off, you can't forget about all the sauces. Akabachi's offers a ton of homemade sauces, including their signature sauce, the green Aki sauce. And Akabachi's has always added new creative dishes to the menu, such as the stocky Aki, or their brand new creation, the sweet potato funnel cake complete with toasted marshmallow creme. And with all the variety, they always have something for someone. So you're definitely gonna wanna check that one out. So that'll bring us right into our number two, which is also in Dover, and that's gonna be Aunt Mary's Kitchen. So Aunt Mary's is a soul food establishment that serves up a lot of the traditional soul food staples, such as chicken wings, catfish, crab cake, turkey wings, meatloaf, chicken sandwiches, and it comes with all the typical sides, such as beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, they also have a signature sauce that they call the garlic butter drip. And quite honestly, I would do illegal things for it. They don't just do traditional soul food either. They do have other dishes such as rasta pasta, oxtails over yellow rice, crab cake egg rolls. They're always doing new and exciting stuff over there as well. So if you're looking for that home cooked meal that's gonna stick to your ribs, Aunt Mary's is a must, but you just might wanna be careful if you're coming from a long way away because the itis, let me tell you, is a real thing. Next up is Firebirds in Newark and they serve American fare as well as steaks and they're all cooked over a wood fire grill. One thing that I like about Firebirds is that it has a very inviting atmosphere. It feels very intimate in a sense, but still fun and casual. As I said earlier, some of the signature foods there are steak, AKA my favorite food, I love steak, can't get enough of it. And that's cooked over that wood fire grill that gives it that char and that taste that just can't be replicated by an iron skillet. I know I talked a lot about their steaks, but my favorite item here has got to be the burger, specifically their smokehouse burger. It's a very simple dish. I don't know if I have a poor man's palate or what it is, but it just hits every time. That Java barbecue sauce, the great burger patty, bacon, the smoked cheddar, the brioche bun with the steak fries, 10 out of 10 every time. While we're talking about steak, I gotta mention my favorite steakhouse in Delaware. It's actually in Wilmington and that's Sullivan Steakhouse. Now you may take a look and say, Brandon, it's a little bit pricey, but you know how the saying goes, price is what you pay, value is what you get. And it delivers on value, whether it's their one of their signature cocktails, such as the Knockout, which is a orange infused vodka with pineapple that definitely packs a punch. Or one of the delicious appetizers, such as the cheek steak egg rolls that's made with thinly sliced filet that comes with two different sauces. They're fantastic every time. And if you like steak, you're gonna be in heaven. Sullivan's has no shortage of steak and they have traditional cuts such as New York strip, filet, ribeye, 
porterhouse, bone in, bone out, and they actually offer some higher quality meat, such as 35 day dry aged ribeye, and they actually even have Wagyu here as well. So if you're looking for a great date night or potentially celebrate an event, Sullivan's is a great place and it definitely won't disappoint. I couldn't have a favorite restaurants list without including some Latin flavor on there. So this next location will satisfy both your savory cravings as well as your sweet tooth. And that's gonna be My Sister's Fault located in Milford. My Sister's Fault is a Puerto Rican bakery that serves up some of the best pastries and cakes in the area. But they don't stop there. They have a variety of sandwiches and Latin delicacies that'll send your taste buds into overdrive. So, ruyo. Favorites such as empanadas, pernil, arroz y gandules. You got a bunch of breakfast sandwiches, as well as cubanos, all served on that traditional sabao bread. All that, and I haven't even mentioned any of the large assortment of desserts that they have there as well. And they have everything ranging from flan to tres leches or more exotic creations such as the lemoncello blueberry cake or the Bizkoff cookie butter cheesecake. If you love Spanish food like myself, you're definitely going to have to get to my sister's fault sooner rather than later. Speaking of Latin and Spanish food, who doesn't love a good taco? And this next restaurant offers both great traditional Mexican style tacos and they do it for a very affordable price. And that's going to be El Nepal here in Dover. They have all the OG style tacos such as chicken, beef, pork, steak, and even some of the more exotic ones such as lengua. They also offer a lot of other different Mexican dishes such as pozole and menudo. And of course they have the viral sensation birria tacos here as well. So if you're looking for a very affordable and tasty taco, you definitely can't go wrong with El Nepal. Now, this next place actually is a bonus because there's actually two of my favorite restaurants in it, and that's gonna be the Newcastle Farmer's Market. Obviously located in Newcastle, and I know what you guys may be thinking, like Brandon, your favorite restaurant is inside a flea market. Now, I know, I know, just stay with me. Yes, they do have food there, and honestly, it's some of my favorite. I don't know if I'm a bit biased because I kind of grew up eating it, so I don't know if it's actually good or if it's just that warm hug of nostalgia that comes over me when I eat it. I just remember going to the Newcastle Farmer's Market with my mom and dad and just waiting to stop at my favorite places. So this is how the food loop used to go back in the day. So you're gonna get into the entrance and then you're gonna wanna stop and grab a slice of pizza at Mama Gina's. Now I know this sounds unsanitary, but literally right across the hall from it was a little pet shop where they had the sleeping dogs in the window. So you grab your slice of pizza, you go look at the dogs. I would ask my parents, hey, can I get a dog? They'd tell me no. But then after that, I would go down the hall to Young's family restaurant and get a half and half. If you don't know what a half and half is, it's half sweet tea, half lemonade. And then I would go to my favorite spot and that would be Stolfish Sausages. Now I know it sounds like a lot, but like food. That's the reason why you're watching this because I'm telling you all about food, right? But no, seriously, I don't know if they have a special proprietary blend because I'm not even a bratwurst or a sausage type of guy. Pause! But whenever I'm in Newcastle, I definitely got to stop by and grab that trifecta. Now, if I'm talking about nostalgia, there's actually another one of my favorite restaurants right there in Newcastle County. And if you're from Newark or Christiana, you're probably going to know exactly the place I'm talking about. I'll give you two hints. One, it's in Christiana Mall. And two, they give samples. Yup, you probably already know you guessed it. And that's Sukihana in the Christiana Mall right there in Newark. Now, from first glance, it probably looks like one of your traditional Chinese spots in the mall, but I can assure you it is not. It's some of the best Chinese or Asian food that you'll have in the state of Delaware. And I don't know if they're switching out the MSG for some other type of white powder, but the honey chicken there is some of the most addicting that I've ever had. So if you're out doing some of that tax-free shopping that we have here in Delaware and you're at the Christiana Mall, you're definitely gonna wanna stop by and try it out or at least grab one of the free samples and you'll know why it made the list. So this last restaurant has a little bit of flair it's actually a dinner and a show, and that's gonna be Kiku's in Middletown. Now, Kiku's is a Japanese steakhouse as well as sushi bar. Me personally, I don't eat sushi, but I've always heard great things about it whenever I'm there. But not to offend anybody, but who goes to a hibachi place and gets sushi? But I'm going for that hibachi grill, and of course it has all the favorites, such as shrimp, steak, chicken, salmon, and they have some proteins that you wouldn't expect, like scallops, swordfish, 
and even a rack of lamb. If you're looking for a great place to grab drinks and have an interactive dining experience, especially with larger groups of family or friends, Kiku's is a great place. But don't forget to get your balloon animal on the way out and tip the chef. Now I'm a foodie and I love food. I could go on and on and on about other restaurants I really like, but we would be here forever. But if you like this video or found any value, do me a favor, give it a like, consider subscribing. And if you wanna learn more about Delaware, I actually made another video right here.